We've had a lot of new technologies come and go by in the past few decades, but 2023 is the year where two areas of engineering have come to a point where they are not going anywhere and are here to stay for a long time. So as a software engineer, you will be at a massive advantage if you have these two skills compared to those who will be scrambling to learn them soon. With that said, let's talk a little bit more about what those two skills are and why it is non-negotiable that you acquire them in 2023 if you want to stay relevant as a software engineer. This video is sponsored by Educative. So the first skill to learn is machine learning, no surprise. Well, machine learning is one of the fastest growing fields in technology. The increasing prevalence of machine learning in businesses is creating an irreversible shift where developers who stay up to date on machine learning techniques will have a massive advantage over those who find themselves desperately trying to catch up. Of course, the field of machine learning itself isn't new. It has been around and advancing for decades now, but the past few decades have seen an exponential rise in the adoption of machine learning. Why? Well, when the internet became mainstream, there wasn't much means to collect and analyze data. But as it grew rapidly, it gave rise to globally distributed applications like YouTube and Facebook. And that in turn gave rise to the notion of big data where the initial challenge was to simply collect and process large volumes of data. But by now, large companies have mostly solved that challenge. You have some of the top tech companies collecting data from billions of events every second. And that amounts to petabytes of data per day, if not more. For context, Facebook was generating four petabytes of data per day back in 2020. So the big challenge right now is not data collection, but what insights can we get by analyzing insanely large volumes of data? And of course, it's not optimal and not even possible to look at every event when you've got billions of them coming in every second. So the idea here is to identify patterns in data. And that's where machine learning comes in. And additionally, with the rise of IoT, every little thing we have sending data, the demand for software engineers that understand machine learning is only growing. The machine learning market is projected to grow over a billion dollars by 2025. So the sheer volume of data being analyzed these days makes machine learning an absolutely critical business discipline. And that's why you should have this as one of your top skills to pick up if you haven't already done so. Okay, so cool. How do you learn machine learning or how do you get started on that path? If you are a beginner and you like books, start with this book called The 100-Page Machine Learning Book by Andre Burkhoff. It's a great introduction to machine learning and covers the breadth. After this, you can dive deeper through other more dedicated resources. If you're more of an academic person, the classic book to use is Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach by Stuart Russell and Peter Norvik. But be warned that this is a much more dense book and is very mathematical. I've had mine for almost 20 years, and as you can see, it has gotten a fair amount of use over time. If you're more of a visual learner and can track your own progress, then you can start with some free courses available online. The first one I recommend is MIT's Introduction to Deep Learning. And the second one I recommend is Stanford's Machine Learning course. I will link both of them in the description below so you can easily navigate to them. Please do note that both of these courses will require you to have a very good grasp on data structures and algorithms. So if you're weak on those, might be a good idea to brush up on them uh, before you start these courses. Uh, if you want free resources to help you brush up on those first, check out some of my other videos. I will link them in the description below. So it's cool that we have all these resources for free, but learning through free courses or by cataloging your own information requires you to structure your own learning plan. Uh, you will need to follow the correct learning order and also keep track of your progress and make sure that you're making meaningful improvements. All right, the second skill to acquire in 2023 is distributed systems. Distributed systems go hand in hand with the earlier conversation about big data and analytics. The reason we've got this insane amount of data is because modern applications can scale far beyond what we couldn't even imagine just a couple of decades ago. Modern applications are distributed across data centers, globally, regionally, and even zonally to provide high availability, better latency, and increased redundancies. That's how we've gotten used to uptime SLOs of five nines for robust cloud applications. Um, for those that you don't know, an uptime guarantee of five nines basically means that a application needs to be up 99.999% of the time, which basically means that they cannot be down for more than five and a half minutes per year, a while processing billions and billions of events every second and petabytes of data every day, right? These insane numbers are only possible because of distributed nature of modern applications. In fact, it is the foundation of modern architectures. 
How does Facebook handle 2 billion users? How does Twitter handle almost a billion tweets each day? How does YouTube handle over a billion hours of watch time every day? How does Amazon sell around 500 million worth of products each day? The answer to all of these lie in understanding distributed architectures. And this is only going to continue. So as a software engineer in 2023 and beyond, it is absolutely critical for you to understand distributed systems if you want to stay relevant in the tech world. All right, so how do you go about actually learning distributed systems? Unfortunately, learning distributed systems is not as straightforward as some of the other areas in software engineering mainly because there's no set path to learning distributed systems. In fact, there isn't even a right or a wrong. Most things in the distributed systems realm live in the it depends gray area where decisions aren't about optimal solutions, but about making the best trade-offs. So by that virtue, you learn a lot of it with experience and not from academics. But that being said, I can recommend a few good books to get you started and some paid resources that I think have excellent content. Let's start with the books first. Start with Understanding Distributed Systems by Roberto Vitillo, then move on to Designing Data Intensive Applications by Martin Kleppman, and after that, read Software Architecture, The Hard Parts by a few different authors. Remember, if you're new to this stuff, follow the same order of reading books, or most things will either fly over your head or it will get quickly overwhelming. Uh, I also have a dedicated video where I talk about these books. Uh, so if you want details on why I recommend them, you can check that video out. I'll put it in the description below. Um, I've also made a few videos of my own uh, from, for recommendations on learning distributed systems effectively, along with all the information that I have personally cataloged. So definitely check those out as well. But aside from that, I haven't really found that many free resources that genuinely explain distributed systems as a whole, because putting everything about distributed systems together in one video, article, or even one book is hard. The information is there, it's just scattered and fragmented among books, articles, technical blogs, tech talks, forums, and academic white papers. So you can learn a lot for free, but you just have to be extra driven and organized when it comes to learning this stuff. But I'll be honest, distributed systems is that one area where it's worth paying for a course or a training program. Uh, it will just save you a ton of time and headaches. Um, you can do your own research into the services and programs that are out there. I know MIT has a few rotating offerings from their continuing education education department, or if you already have a learning platform you like, use that one. Anyway, these are the two hottest and must have skills in tech right now. And honestly, I cannot stress this enough. If you really want to be competitive in the market and ensure that you have a stable career for the next decade, you have to learn distributed systems and machine learning. And I hope that this video did a good job at encouraging you to start on that journey if you haven't already. And also provided you with some good books to start with, some free resources to check out, and a very good paid resource if you need more structure. Please like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel for more software engineering content. Also, if you have any follow-up questions about machine learning or especially about distributed systems, feel free to message me on Instagram at engineering with Utsav uh, and I'll do my best to answer your questions over there. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.